Hey, what's going on guys? It's Slider Havoc here and we are back playing some Sky Factory and today my goal is a short episode because there's a lot of cool stuff but I just kind of want to dip into it today and then come back to it after I've mastered it but that doesn't work so far. I've made some episodes that were really really crummy and I didn't like them and so I just kind of went back into them again. I've actually tried like I, like last episode I told you I tried a lot of times and it just wasn't I wasn't feeling it. And I think it's the same thing today is I really want some high energy fun stuff and the rain is just not helping, but I want some high energy fun stuff. And so that's what we're going to go for. So, um, I'm trying to keep it short and short and sweet. So I'm just going to really give a quick update on what's been going on. Uh, first of all, the moo fluid cows are working amazing. Check this out. If you ever need some bed rockium, I got you hooked up with 320 buckets worth. That's a lot of bedrock. Um, yeah, this I'm gonna explain why I started a sugarcane farm. It's it's rocking. It's doing its thing really really well. And that's because I need to start auto crafting some books up because I am doing a lot of disenchanting. Um, I'm still I have yet to figure out a way to uh, efficiently sort out all the um, stuff I'm getting from my mob drops in the farm down below. I think you can see it from here. Yeah, we already we went over we went over the mob farm over there. Yeah, and uh, I put four iron spikes on top because of the slimes. <laughs> they were just constantly up there. And I didn't want them bouncing around and taking away from my mob count. But anyways, that's working good. Um, I started up an auto enchanter over here with all the swords that I've been getting. I'm actually pretty low on them now. I uh, I finally isolate. Oh, there's one. I isolated them out of the system, and so. At least I thought I did. So I've got basically, you know, max levels. And that was really quick. My, ooh, Reaper 3. Cool. That's actually one I really want. So uh, let me put this in here. And this just expites the situation really quick. Sword goes in. It gets stripped off. Takes a book. Uh, the sword goes to the garbage over here. And the enchant goes into this chest right here, which is uh, going into my system. Uh, back in the, uh, the other world, which I'll show you because I moved a whole bunch of stuff around. So this is kind of my, my setup for right now. Eventually, I want to automate this, but this will be an ender chest that just gets swords. That's it. Just swords. And uh, then they'll get auto-enchanted, and then they'll go into basically the auto-disenchanter, which I will eventually have books just automatically piped in. And then they'll spit out and do exactly what they're doing over here. One goes to the trash can. The other one, the books go into the inventory system. And as you can see, I've, I've got quite a few books. Um, I accidentally used them all to make some magical wood earlier, so this is a rebuild of them. But, um, you know, I, some of them are useful, some of them are not. But there are uses for them outside of, uh, you know, actual enchanting. So I'm keeping them around ju just in case. Just in case. But, um, as I said, I moved everything so I can kind of show you um, all the machines are gone. There's no longer an elevator block here because there's nothing below. I kind of cleared it all out. This is all going to be torn down eventually <clears throat> and moved to the other world. I want to level this whole underground area. I don't like it. I like to be, you know, I like to see the sky. I don't like to feel like I'm in a cave. And so that's, yeah, that's where we're at. Spell tree, I don't really have anything in it. So it just kind of sits there. I did make myself a new fancy crossbow, though. Um, it's about as efficient as I could get it up to. The draw speed's 1.05 and the arrow speed's 7.2. If there's a faster way to do it after the nerf, I don't know, or more efficient, you can let me know. And then I got your standard um, uh, Enderium bolt with a Signalium uh, base and then uh, the slime leaf fletchings. And it's pretty on point. I mean, it shoots pretty darn straight, pretty darn fast. Um, I'm, I'm okay with it. One, one shot every second, yeah, I'm totally okay with that. Um, but yeah, so this is the enchanting area. Moving on to today's episode and what, oh, get away from that coal. I don't want to pick up the coal. I've learned not to walk by there if I can avoid it. Hey, I didn't want to do that. Can I get that one? Yes, I can. Okay, cool. And then I moved the portals <clears throat> over here because I figured, well, the end portal's already over here. Why not move all the portals? So to the next millennium we go. So, <clears throat> as you can see, I've got an upgrade modifier here. This guy is for the uh, Draconic Evolution. Unfortunately, I don't have any ingots, which is what I've been working on. But um, So I can't upgrade anything else. This one's already been upgraded. I've got two pieces of armor left to upgrade, but I can't make the Wyvern Cores yet. So, I just there's nothing I can do about that. But that's what today's episode is all aiming towards. So, 
uh, my reactor. I finally got it all filled with uh, the gel and cold stuff. That's my new name for it because I can't say the carithium or whatever it's called. But uh, I noticed that it actually runs a little hotter when it's full, but I do get a little more energy and it is a little more efficient, a little less uh, waste. So I guess that's kind of cool. But it runs pretty hot, which means I'm losing some power. Um, so I'm thinking we're going to expand this because we're going to need more power. 12,000 uh, 12, RF per 12,000 uh, RF per second is not or per tick is not going to cut it for me. I need more. But I've got a whole bunch of yellow right, and I'll explain how I got that shortly because this is all tying together. I promise this, everything is tying together. Uh, this guy, I was losing a lot of storage, right? So basically, what I did was I have loot bags automatically uh, pouring into here, and then uh, once the loot bags fill up, um, and basically it's compacting them into legendary loot bags. I just did this a second ago. Man, there's 12 of them right there. I should probably be making a whole bunch of these real quick because I'm trying to get my my storage is like over full and these stupid things take up one slot. <clears throat> That's a lot, a lot, a lot of wasted space. And I don't know if this is actually that's totally the case but whatever it is I don't like them and all I want is legendary anyway so I'm just making a whole bunch right now and yep there we go and then I could turn these in. you know what I'm gonna let the compactor do it well actually I, these ones aren't gonna happen because uh, I only have the white loot bags going in. Oh no, you know what? I thought I had all the loot bags going in. Didn't I change that? Didn't I put that on this, uh, the end port card? Rare, epic, common, uncommon. Yeah, they all should be going in. Maybe I just expedited the process uselessly because it's starting with one. I don't know, but y'all need to go away. Okay, so yeah, I moved my setup over here. Um, as you can see, I've got the, uh, the molecular assembler towers here. I don't think I'll probably ever use all of these, but who knows? I learned something new and this was really exciting for me. While setting these up, I accidentally right clicked on one and I saw this uh, little thing for the molecular assembler. I always thought they were just little glass things you added to the import bus. But I found out if you put a coded pattern in here, and for this one I'm doing diamonds, I finally figured out auto crafting. Um, I've never been able to when I mean auto crafting, I don't mean clicking craft in the display. Like I don't mean clicking craft for this guy, um, wherever it is, like clicking these guys. I don't mean that auto crafting. What I mean is when stuff comes into the system, like these diamond essences, it automatically just makes a diamond because that's all I'm ever, ever used diamond essence for is diamond. And if I ever wanted to not do, it, I could just pull this out real quick. But this way, as you can see, I've got a ton of diamonds 969 diamonds so it's working and I've got uh, wither essence doing wither skulls I have nether essence doing soul sand and I have <clears throat> experience essence doing bottles of enchanting because as we know I'm doing a lot of enchanting trying to get the reaper stuff so I could get mob souls as well as looting because that's what's gonna lead us to today's episode those swords that I was explaining about it I was trying to get looting I don't have a lot but I've got a couple Actually, I just got one right now. One looting three. And uh, I'm going to start uh, upgrading the diamond spikes that are where we're about to go right now. That's where we're headed. Um, when I filmed this last time, I was just finishing up this build. And uh, this time, I'm just going to show it to you really quick. And then we're going to run away. Because like I said, I want to keep this episode short. So we can come back to the next episode, which will be a little bit more involved. But um, over here is the Chaos Dragon. I don't go close anymore because every time I've tried to show it, it has killed me. I've died like four times doing this. And I realized this guy's a madman because as you can see, my farm's like 400, 500 blocks away. One time it killed me on the other side of my farm. And I realized that this thing is just madness. It just keeps coming. I ain't messing with it. So here's my Enderman farm. Now it's going to get laggy here. I'm going to tell you that right off the bat. This thing is so efficient. It I You'll see in a second why. Um, so over here, Basically, I have three platforms that are all... Well, has this one finished growing it? Yes, it did. Um, the chunks are loaded, so it's constantly growing. Um, I just need... Well, I guess I don't even need to put it in there. I ran out of dirt, and so I've got stone. And that, that's going to kind of bother me. Anyways, they spawn. They get pushed down the hole. They won't catch on another edge because the next layer is doing the same thing. And they all just... You see how many Endermen in there. This is going to take me a second to get close. 
I gotta turn these fans off um, or else I can't move but it's just wrecking them this is a very very efficient farm there we go now there's a fan on the other side but let me show you the entity count uh, 1450 entities you can understand where the lag's coming from uh, all these experience orbs are going crazy and uh, I don't get too many items left behind which is nice the reason I'm, like, see, I'm going to get pushed away. I have a fan on the other side that's pushing everything towards this vacuum hopper so nothing gets left behind. But the vacuum hopper can't take all this experience in fast enough. And I've got three tanks trying to pump it out, but it just ain't happening. Um, it just, the, the vacuum hopper itself can't take, let me get my hand for here. It just can't take in the essence fast enough. If I can click on it. Oh, that's why. Um, yeah, so, or it can't export fast enough. I don't know which one, but basically all this essence gets left behind and there's a ton of entity, entities. Hey, fly, what are you doing? And uh, so I have that issue when I get over here, but i am already got it down to a thousand, so 400 of them are gone. And most of that was probably just the XP orbs. But the farm is very efficient. And the reason for this farm, sure, ender pearls are great and all, but uh, the re Ooh, they're going to be upset. You heard that. Um, Ender pearls are great, but the Endermen drop these things called Dimlets. And if those of you who are familiar with RF tools, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those of you who are not familiar with RF tools, we're going to take a step into the RF tool direction because we're going to be messing with dimensions today. Ooh, I'm getting luckier and luckier every time I try to come back and find this portal. I've got a plan to never have to have these portals again, but everything revolves around getting draconic ingots I need draconic ingots and that's the whole point of this farm honestly that's the whole reason for that ender farm it's for this stuff over here now like I told you this is I, I've tried to film this episode a couple times as you can see when I started none of this stuff existed I had never ever even messed with this mod before now you can see I have one two three four five six seven I think one more eight dimensions well nine but one of them is the one we're in right now so uh, eight dimensions that I have tried and you know m most of them are just test dimensions anyways uh, like I think I got one in here no I don't because we're starting fresh um, in here I've got all well let me explain okay so the ender farm oh, I'm like all over the place um, they give these dimlets 69 dimlets I had none like right before I started recording I'm getting a lot of them that farm is given a lot um, that's why I want the looting on the spikes is to get as many of these dimlets as possible. So the dimlets go into this machine here. It processes them and kicks them out. And then it gives us the information here. And this is information to create a new dimension. So if you're not familiar with RF tools, we're going to make our own dimension right now. And basically, these are recipes. That's what these are. They're pieces of a recipe. And uh, we can kind of make whatever we want. Now, some of these are completely useless to us because we are on Sky Factory, so everything's going to automatically be a void. So doing uh, Sunflower Plains or Savannah Plains or, you know, a Root Force, none of that matters because, well, like I said, we're a void, so none of this matters. So these are all kind of useless to me, but I can break these down, and we'll, we'll get to that another time. That's not about today. Today, what we're doing is we're trying to go and get a draconic ingot dimension or draconic ore dimension. Now, as you can see, I'm going to type draconic and it's not going to come up with anything. Uh, I got a controller dry, which I'm assuming means uh, how effective I was in the Yeah, like no rain. That's what I'm kind of assuming. Um, Biome Eldritch, I think that has something to do with uh, Thomcraft. And then tendrils, I'm not sure. This affects various features of the dimension. Some of these features need materials or liquid modifiers, which you have to put in front of this feature. That's fine, whatever. But I have yet to get a draconic ore. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm looking for. I want a draconic ore. And then I would love some higher rarity ones. The highest I've gotten is five, so. Uh, special peaceful, interesting. Normal mob spawning is disabled if you use this dimlet. But that's 40,000 RF per tick. So we're gonna want some power uh i want to eventually make one i want to make the perfect dimension <clears throat> or two actually there's two i want to make <clears throat> and i want them to be self-sustaining where they're powering themselves from within that's that's the goal i don't 
I don't know if it's possible, but that's the goal. But um, as you can see, we've got aluminum ore, copper ore, ferrous ore, iron ore, lapis ore, lead ore, redstone ore. But I have yet to get a draconic ore one. That's what I want. I want a draconic ore. Um, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and create one. And we're going to go test this out. And as a matter of fact, before I forget it, because I, I almost forgot this once. And that would have been a very bad thing. I would have been stuck there. Um, and as you can see, I'm carrying around some solar panels and a resident energy cell. So I can start getting some power set up if I do find the right one. Um, now this is almost full. And so I'm hoping it'll start filling this one second. I just put all the cards I needed into it, so it's really, really close. It's at 94. Do I have any more? Nope, it's not going. So in the meantime, we've been talking. I got five more dimlets. Five more. Get them in there. Oh, 95. So I'm getting a lot of repeats and stuff like that, whatever. Um, so we want some fun stuff. So the first thing we're going to do is we... No, it's up here. It's a really cheap one. Features. Okay, so we've got these liquid orbs, or we got huge orbs, or we got huge liquid orbs. We want just the huge orbs. I've tried the liquid orbs. Um, I, you know, that's where I got all the gelid uh, cold stuff was from liquid orbs, and that was cool and all. And I can always make that one again. Um, but I just want to get some cool materials, basically. And so I need to I need to make sure that we have orbs. And I know that there's one. There's like a daytime feature. Because I want it to just be noon all day long. So I, the solar panel will be very, very effective. And uh, if I have a Tesseract and I get some major power, that like uh, get these up to like the solar panel fives, which is what I'm going to plan to be doing between this episode and next. That way, that's another huge power source coming in. So that's what I'm going for there. So I'm just carrying these around with me. Um, uh, these materials, these materials. I want these ores, but I want draconic ore. So if I leave it without, then there's a chance. There's a chance. Uh, one time I got uh, a dimension. It was yellowite and certus quartz, but it was a, a fluid-filled one, so it wasn't quite as awesome. Uh, blood, oh, well. That's kind of cool. Um, molten plutonium. Ooh. Ooh. That is the other material. I think it's a fuel, another fuel from big reactors. If I had that, I could just start freaking making mass amounts of uh, uh, ingots for that. Um, and see, I want to be able to make like my own mob one because eventually I want to make a world that has dragons in it. So that way I can get dragon hearts a lot easier. Time noon, that's the one I want. I knew I'd find it eventually. And there's also one with like no rain. They're not too expensive. The the ones I one I'm looking for right now are relatively cheap. A mob with screw you. Um, the fortress would be interesting. I've done that before, but it seemed to make it harder to find the ones that actually come from the mod. Weather no rain. That's the one. That's the one. And obsidian. Interesting. Shiny ore. How expensive is that? That's four thousand R per tick not 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 what we're looking for right now special peaceful that just sounds cool no mobs but it's gonna be daytime so we don't have to worry about it so let's make this guy oh you know what i need to grab some random one from up here um uh red moon planet let's just grab this one uh that way it's different than uh ones i've done before and so i don't get a repeat on it so if you've never played with rf tools before Basically, you take one of these empty guys right here. Don't have one in here, do I? No. You place it like this. And basically, you just kind of... How did... Did that glitch or... I'm so confused. Did that glitch? That said two a second ago, right? I don't know. Maybe it said three. Uh, anyway, so... Basically, just pop all these guys in. And you can add whatever you want. You can make the craziest world you want. It just it, it costs the more stuff you add or whatever. And this is going to be a final test. We're going to do one today. It's going to be awesome. We're going to get everything we want. It's going to charge up so fast. Look how fast that is. And we're going to test it out. And hopefully we get some good materials. If not, we're just going to go venture out. I've got my golden bags of holding here because I'm going to go dimlet hunting. But if I right click, you will see. Here's the uh, everything about it, right? So obviously the train's a void. It's going to be automatic. Uh, base block is stone, okay? 
Uh, entropy infused stone is huge blocks. Um, it looks like they're all just that. Base fluid is water. And then uh, sun brightness one, star brightness one, uh, sky body planet, weather rain zero. You gotta love that. Mob is skeleton. And this is a weird skeleton. This is not a regular. That could be withered skeletons. That'd be interesting. And then celestial age. So let's go ahead and throw this guy in there. He's ready to go. We're going to go ahead. This guy is charged, so I know I can get back. And let's go ahead and dial this bad boy up and go experience this together. Final test, dial. Dial is okay. All right. See, I told you guys, it's going to be a fast episode. We're only at 20, what, 21 minutes right now? This is going to be a fast episode. This is not going to be one of my longer ones. And you can hear my excitement all the way through. I'm excited because this is a lot of fun. Okay. So these are stones I've never seen before. Let, go ahead and load it in. Because I've got so many chunks loaded, ha ha, that's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Because I have so many chunks loaded, um, it does get laggy at times. Um, and so I gotta go clear out my mob farms and stuff like that every now and then when I'm not on camera. But uh, when I'm recording, it can drop me down to like 30 frames, which is dreadfully slow when you're used to playing at like 120. Um, this infused stuff, I'm very curious. What is it? What does this go with? Oh my goodness. This is from Thomcraft. This is the one that gives us those little shards, isn't it? Oh my goodness. You... I don't know if there's a really useful... My axe is like... I can't even dig normally. It's almost so annoying. But I'll be able to get so much experience from this. And I don't know if these shards are really going to be worthwhile. I really want to get back and start dipping into... Is that a regular cow? Are these regular cows? Regular cows! Oh, I never see regular cows anymore. Okay, let's get in this door. And here's what we're looking for. You, you, and you. And then in here we should have some. There's a couple unknowns there. And do we get any cool ones? We got uh, some sky. They're all like the same. They're all rarity zero. Uh, rarity one... So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull out the golden bag of holding here. And this is where I store them. And then I just keep flying around. And th I mean, this is what I've been doing is flying around and trying to find more of these structures. Because it looks like this is the only material. And this is the first time I've only gotten one material. But that's a lot. If I needed... Oh, a wolfie! Oh, there's a wolfie. Yeah, if I needed entropy, we would be good to go. Really, really good to go. But, uh, yeah, I... You know what? Should we create... I think we should create one more world. Because this one is a bit of a, a bummer. Is that a regular tree? I've never seen a regular tree on a slime island before. I've never seen that. Something new. A jungle tree? Or just a... Oh, it's rubberwood tree. I have never seen a regular tree on a slime island before. Something new. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head back. Eventually. There we go. We're going to try one more. I want to get I want to get at least something cool. At least like uh, an ore or something like that that I can really use. That would be outstanding. Um, but hey. Oh, I already have so many shards that that little stack actually didn't even match the earth shards that I had. Um, what is this one? Gluttony shard, forbidden magic. That's a different. That's this one too. Wrath. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pull this guy out, and we're just gonna make like modify like one little change, and it's gonna give us a whole new dimension. So we're gonna extract. Um, we're gonna change the sky body, and that will give us something totally new and different. Did you get any yet? Nope. You're still not full. Okay. Let me go ahead and grab these uh, these ones here. Go ahead and throw these guys in. And let's get a few more of you going. And while I'm here, let's go ahead and see what uh, the farm, farm 33 more. There we go. And throw you all in there. And let's find another sky thing to change it. That's like my way of changing the, the, the biome. Uh, sky dark day. Dark day. Dark night. Dark purple. Sky ender. No. 
Well, it's going to be noon, right? I just want to make sure my solar is going to work when we're there. Um, no more night, purple clouds. Stars! No, but that's that's very night-like. Um, cyan. No, there's a really couple pretty ones. <clears throat> uh, body moon. Body none. Red moon. Well, that's, no, that's still nighttime sounding, right? I don't want nighttime sounding. Oh, it's full. Okay. Yeah, you've moved on over here. Um, and you're by rarity, right? Yeah. Three, two, two, one. Aren't you supposed to like display it? Oh, there we go. That's a show groups. There we go. Rarity three. Structure stronghold. I've already got one of those. Uh, time evening. No material. Netherrack. No. I did have one that was all nether quartz. That was kind of cool. Um, let's see what else we got. What else do we have? I know. Compact equal stacks. Oh, okay. There we go. Let's see if. I can put more in this one. I want to max these things out. So, yeah, there we go. At three hundred. There we go. Okay. Uh, large planet. Let's just do this one. There we go. Large planet. Hey, why do I have? Are you full again? No. So why can't I put you back in there? There we go. So we're gonna add you, and this is going to be. Okay, this is just gonna have no name. Um. Let's go to name. Blah. No, no, no. Happy time. Because this one is going to make me happy. This is going to be a great one here. It's not going to be too expensive to make. It's going to be really, really fast. And we're going to get some great stuff. It's only 152 RF per tick to maintain, which is awesome and cheap. Gotcha. And then let's see. What we got? What we got? What we got? We have yellow stained clay, air infused stone. Lime stained clay, black stained glass, glass, clay, water. You're so boring. No, that's just not going to happen. Um, no. No, I keep making these dimensions and they keep sucking. No, not going to do it. Um, we got to add something fun in. We, I want to have fun. Let's, let's go... Let's just add. I mean, I, I should get more than just what I'm going to add in. Um, material blocks of iron. That's 6,000 RF per tick. That's not bad, but I don't want iron. That's 4,000 for shiny ore. Uh, that's 22,000 for haste. What other ones can we do? What other structure stronghold? Hey, that'd be cool. You can add a stronghold in. That's only 100 RF per tick. It's kind of like shopping here. Uh, silver ore, lapis ore, ferrous ore, copper ore. See, I'm thinking... Okay. The one... Lapis ore would be cool. Let's just do lapis. I can go get a whole bunch of lapis. Farm it up while I'm... Uh, here we go. Worn. Uh, there are dangling modifiers. Which one? Uh, terrain, tendrils, canyons, orbs, liquid orbs, or Oregon. I have orbs. Right? Huge orbs. Do I need regular orbs too? Let me grab regular orbs too. See, I'm still learning. There's little things. Um, liquid orbs. Well, sure. We'll grab this. We'll just grab one liquid orb and add that in there. It's not very expensive, so... There we go. Now we're okay. Yeah, that's all like one RF per tick. That's the most expensive one was the Lapis at 22. So, um, good to go. Oh, oh, oh. Store. That's the name of that world. Good to go. All right. And we'll pop you in there. Shouldn't be too expensive to make you. A little bit longer. Hello, Mr. Enderman. I have a uh, spawnable spot somewhere around here. I don't know where. Let me F7 while that thing's getting created. Oh, well, this area is one of them. This area is another one. Okay, there's a couple little spots. Let me grab some torches while those are cooking up. All right. Um, one, two, three, four. I don't want to carry torches with me. Oh, and I need to charge you up before we go. 
And we're getting close. No, I hit the half hour mark. I did not want to go a full half hour. I wanted to try to keep it short, but it's going to be a little bit over half an hour. Not a big deal. I can handle a little over. Um, Right there. Okay, cool. How you doing? You're at 55%. Cool. We're going to go. We're going to have something really cool. Did I grab the stronghold? I forgot if I put the stronghold in there. I thought that'd be cool to have stronghold. Oh, you. You too. How about you guys? Yeah, you too. Let me grab a couple more torches while we're waiting. One, two. There we go. And there we go. Ah, there we go. Okay, cool. Make sure I got you because I, I've almost forgotten you multiple times. And put you back. And there we go. So it's going to be daytime. You're done, right? Yeah, you just hit 100%. You're charged up, right? Oh, yeah, you got plenty of RF. Let's go. Let's uh, end this last one. Man, I'm just, I've got so many. I wish there was a way to delete these, but uh, maybe I could do it in my config file just to get rid of them. There's really nothing useful in any of them. I did keep getting nausea the first couple times. I got nausea and hunger in one, and I got nausea in another. And that's the first thing. Oh, there's a ghast here. What? I should have checked. What is this? Is this endstone? Okay, that's endstone. Well, I know a place to get ghast here. And compact ice, packed ice. What? What? Where's my lapis at? Ah, oh, there's some lapis. Oh, of course, the little ones are the lapis ones. Oh, and the liquid ones, too, while they're at it. Cool. But, hey, there's a whole bunch of experience. Okay. Time to get the crossbow out. Where are you guys at? There you are. Holy cow, this world sucks. But you can see my crossbow is pretty freaking wicked. I can hit some things from long range. Um, this is not going to be uh, a world that I shop for these things in. Because this is just going to be annoying hearing these gas the whole time. But we can see if we can get at least uh, one cool uh, house to check out here. Where's the door? Where's the... must be on this side. Oh, where's the door? The door in the building? Well, usually... Well, that's kind of curious. Usually, like, the door is free. There we go. All right. Uh, anything cool? Let's let's get some cool stuff to finish this episode. Cool stuff to finish the episode. Got some blanks. Okay, I have some blanks. Um, oh, that's a, the Patreon ones. I guess he kind of threw that in that the mod maker did because they, uh, like, you know, donated to the cause or whatever. Uh, noontime dimlet, mushroom soup dimlet, and... Ice plane spikes dimlet. Uh, not helping me out here, guys. But, you know what? <laughs> it's cold out here. Not getting very far. What if I do this? Oh, yeah, you need silk touch to uh, pick up packed ice. I thought you could do packed ice. Oh, no, it's like glass. Okay. All right. Well, guys, um, I think we're going to just get out of here because this is crazy. I kind of want to keep this one because I think I think you can tear these apart and get some of them back uh, as long as you have like the right rarity thing. So, but my crossbow's taking these guys out, no problem. Oh, that was cool, I hit the thing. I hit the fireball. You guys can't hurt me, man. Oh, nice nose, dude. Oh, you got wings. All right. Well, that was fun. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get out of here for right now. Got to go. Oh, you missed me. <laughs> you missed. All right, guys. So that was a wrap on this one. I'm going to be working on dimensions for probably the next uh, couple hours. Trying to find a really cool one. And continuously, you know, I might just AFK it. And uh, that way I can get some more uh, dimlets. And uh, get them all red and stuff like that. Because... I've got 299 there and none in here yet. So we've got a lot and yeah, that's just a lot to go through there. Uh, got a couple level five. So 
hopefully we get some level sixes because that's what we're going to want for getting uh, our specific mob, which is a dragon. And I want the draconic ore. So I'm going to figure out a way how to do that. But I'm going to research some of this because I'm figuring there's probably a way to like, because you can break them down. I know you can break them down. And so maybe that's what we'll do in the next episode. And we will create a draconic ore uh, world. But until then, guys, I'm out of here. Y'all know the deal. I'm Slider and we're out. Peace.